So now I've removed the steel plates and reinforcing that I'm actually going to need for the first set of beams. And I'll just keep these only. I won't be taking anything else apart till I need it. And I'll put that aside. And the same way, I'll separate each of these steel plates. Of course, they're brass. All the way through. Now that I've separated the steel plates and the reinforcing end plates, I did that on here, which is a plastic laminate on the underside of this on my desktop. Uh, John recommends it being done on a piece of uh, glass, but I find the glass is a little bit too hard a uh, surface on the back side for, the, for the, uh, the blade to actually snap through because it needs a little bit of give on the underside, and so this is uh, working much better for me. And now what I, what I could have done is use this blade to get it as sharp on edge as possible on these tabs, but I prefer to take a little extra step and use a pair of flush cutters brand new pair, it's nice and sharp, very thin on the blade here and so what I can do now is just come along and I can nip these little tabs off virtually flush with a little more control so I'm not going to you know, um, you know, distort the, the, uh, the piece of uh, etching. So I just go around and just nipped all of them off uh, virtually flush. Now once I've done that I'll take a flat file, now this has got a th three sided file fine tooth and I'll just run that on the edge where those tabs were and like I said before it's all in the preparation Taking your time, just go around and just take that little bit of burr that still might be left off those edges. You feel that's nice and smooth, and now that's ready for the next step. And I'll go through all the rest of these doing the same thing. I'll put this on the pile um, where they uh, will be all identical. I'll go through these reinforcing plates that will go over the ends as well. Now these ones, I can virtually nip them almost dead flush. But I probably won't even need to run a file, but if you feel you need to run a file on those two, see they're pretty smooth. And uh, that's all I need to do. We now have to cut out all the fretwork or this diagonal bracing that's all riveted together that will go on those beams. Now I've tried two or three methods um, both what John has suggested in the instructions um, another one that I did in just cutting through all of these and then flush cutting all these little connection points um, no matter what you do this all twists and curls um, and it seems to be extra work so now what I finally have decided works the best is to use this single edge blade, this kind of a chopping blade we'd used previously and I'm using on a cutting mat because it's got a bit of give underneath which allows the blade to go through instead of stopping on a hard surface putting the flush against the fret and on an angle and pressing until I hear click and so basically I'm doing the same thing on each one so going through click Click, click, and I go all the way through, take this bottom piece off, it'll just fall off, and then cut the top half, separating them, and what you'll end up with is the fretwork. And it, it's, very, it's very thin because it's basically to scale uh, in thickness, and it comes up in a bit of a roll, so because it's so so uh, narrow and thin, you can just easily bend and straighten it out. So it's reasonably straight, and it'll be fine because once you put it on the beams, you'll be you'll be putting tacking down with ACC at every point. And I would do it in several places, just a tacking place, and then go back and fill in between 
with you know just touching those points. I'll show you that later on. But that's the best way. I'm finding that to be the fastest way to cut out all this fret work without going back and doing some additional trimming. So when these come off of the sheet, there'll be a bit of a curl in that. Now you can straighten that a little bit with your fingers. But what I found also works quite nicely. To get any twists I'll use a roll of masking tape and and just roll it on the fret. And what that'll do, it'll it'll flatten out any twists in it and it'll take some of the curl back out of it so it's nice and flat and, and almost quite straight again. In order to assemble these truss beams, the plans call for an aluminum bar stock with some pins in here that you lay these pieces in and then assemble them and putting the side channels on the brass plate and gluing them with ACC. Now I found that this is perhaps um, uh, not as comfortable for me to make sure that these are down snug and in line and straight. So what I've done is I've created another template and instead what I've done is taken a couple of pieces of, of, of wood, the same the same height as the channel, one of these channels, and then I'll put this piece of plate that has the rivets inside this little template here, this jig, and then I'll put these channels in here, the same height, and then what I'll do is take, put little drops of ACC on the bottom, just tack it along there, and then when it's all tacked in place, nice and firm, uh, I'll then finish the fillet of ACC along there. And I find that this is perhaps a little better way of ensuring that these pieces are flush with the edge here because this piece of wood is holding it in place and perpendicular because it's against the face of this. This is a really nice little edge in here that's been etched out so that the edge of the, the flanger can sit right on here up against this little nip here. So it's, uh, it's a nice little design. So then what happens is you take, you take that out and now I have the, the two channels bonded to the steel plate here, leaving the rivet detail there. The rivet details are all exposed on the bottom. And then when this is done, my next step is going to be to take the fret that I've now cut out <coughs> and according to the, the layout and the plan, and each one's a little different in its location, I'll tack each one of these um, frets uh, along the the channel and it's very delicate as you can see so what, what I'll do is I'll just tack the odd one to, so it's stabilized and then go and finish filleting them. Now what I'll do is I'll take a little deeper piece of wood uh, to put it uh, that against so that the fret can sit up against it as I tack one side. That way they'll all be in line along the edge. The instructions call for getting in a little piece of aluminum bar stock which I've got here and drilling a hole at each end to set the beam assembly for the trusses in there. And while this is part of the instruction, I don't think it's necessary to do both because sometimes the alignment is just a little out. You really only need a pin at one end. And the whole idea of this really is as you assemble these reinforcing plates it keeps them as you stack them it keeps them aligned aligned 
perpendicular so that in the future when you put the pins through they'll go through square to the face of the plate behind it. The steel beams are joists as they really are. They go between the, the vertical legs all the way across that carry the beams and the deck. They're in two halves and you have to glue them together. Now you want to make sure that they're going to be flush on all sides. So what I've done is I've used the uh, plastruct plastic weld and I coated the, the flat surface in this case this has already been assembled but I've coated the flat surface to, uh, on, on both of them lightly pressed them together so they would bond and then I was able to use the same jig I made for those beams and I put them in there pushed the end here to make sure that this end was flush which makes this end flush and of course they're both pressed down and in line and flush all the way around. Now what I did after that was I just very lightly trued up the ends. So eventually when we get to doing the assembly there's a flat face here that we haven't touched and that will bond to the side of the beam and of course this then will will be nice and square in here and it's also the same dimension here so we've got a nice square face here so that the bridge will um, all line up with all faces.